start with is this cottage pie. This particular recipe goes together really quick. It does take a little preparation. So early in the day or the night before, you read your list of vegetables here. You just chop them up ahead of time, make the marinade, and put them either in a dish. I use a baggie because I can flatten it out, pour the marinade in, and I can just set this in the fridge. It's really easy. And as you can see, this calls for broccoli, cauliflower, carrots, celery, onion, parsley. That's what this recipe calls for. You don't necessarily need these particular vegetables. Put in what you want. It's just you need to end up with the same approximate volume of vegetables. So you can substitute whatever sounds good to you or whatever happens to be in your fridge. So you've marinated your vegetables and you have them in your container. And one of the things, you like to make the marinade thicker. And we're going to do that using these tomatoes that I have soaking, sun-dried tomatoes. But you need to get the marinade out of this bag in order to mix it together. And this is why I use a baggie because it works so well. I just take the baggie and I snip a little corner and then I have something to just set it in like this and I set it aside. There it is, all snipped, set aside and it's going to drain its marinade into this cup. While, I'm do while that's draining, we're going to make the topping, the mashed potato topping. So we're going to go directly to the mashed potatoes because the vegetables have all been chopped and they're in their marinade. Two cups of cauliflower. But before that, we have two-thirds cup. These are cashews. You can use this or macadamia nuts or a combination. And you soak them for a couple hours ahead of time and then drain them. These have been soaked and drained. I'm going to start with these because what you want to do is get these chopped up first. And it's kind of noisy, so be prepared. But you can kind of see the, can you see by looking in the mirror what the consistency of these are? A little bit. You can you see, it's just kind of mushy. It's not really, it's just kind of grated up. You don't want big chunks. The next thing is your cauliflower, because this is really what our mashed potatoes are made out of, the cauliflower. So we're going to add our two cups, and they're roughly chopped up. I have some big pieces in here. The smaller you make the pieces when you put it in, the less time it takes to food process, and the better your chances of not having big chunks. So there's our cauliflower. We have one quarter cup of lemon juice. Now this is really to taste. It makes, it, makes the potatoes a little tart. I personally don't like an entire quarter cup of lemon juice. So what I'm going to do is probably put just a little bit less. <laughs> I have a little bit less. I don't have quite a quarter cup. Okay. Two tablespoons of olive oil. Okay. One clove of garlic or some garlic powder. <laughs> and because you don't always have garlic on hand, you can very easily substitute garlic powder. It's not a problem. So we're just going to take the ends off. And I tend to cut the garlic too because I want, I don't want big chunks of garlic. I don't want anyone getting a chunk of garlic in their potatoes. Okay. Now this recipe calls for rosemary or Italian seasoning. We're going to do Italian seasoning. But if you have another seasoning that you happen to like, experiment. You can mix seasonings and then you can make the taste your own. It doesn't have, you don't have to follow this to the letter. You can experiment with seasonings. And we're going to do a teaspoon. Salt and pepper to taste. I put a little salt in to start. And this is actually Celtic salt in here. I'm just using this container over and over again. But it's actually Celtic salt and it's coarse grain. So I'm just going to sprinkle some in because we can always add more later. And then a couple, this is my bunny pepper, a couple dollops of pepper. And that's it. That's all the ingredients you need for your mashed potatoes. It's going to take a little bit of time for this to process. The result is you don't want it grainy. You want this to be very soft and fluffy. 
So you have to do this just a few times. Okay, we've got our potatoes. But we need to have our vegetables ready to go in our container. So here's what we do. You can use a blender for this. Uh, our food processor for this. I just happen to have this handy little machine called a magic bullet. And it works wonderful for small jobs like this. See how easy it is? It's much easier than putting this in a colander and then trying to get the colander and it just all drains down. And, and then when you want to, you just grab that little thing and put it in here because we're going to mix this all together. Okay, here's the marinade that was drained. What I have here are sun-dried tomatoes. And I just soak these so that they're soft. And I'm going to squeeze some of the water out because we don't need all this moisture. You always save that water just in case you don't have enough marinade. You can add a little bit of that water. But what we've done is we put what's, what that was marinating in and these tomatoes. And we're just going to mix this together to make kind of a sauce for our vegetables. And that's what you end up with, this nice thick sauce for your vegetables. We then pour it in our vegetables. And mix it all together. This is the base of our cottage pie. Okay, so here you go, you've got your vegetables and they're mixed, I mean this isn't runny, it's thick. You don't want soup, you want it thick, but you want it creamy enough so that you have a kind of like a sauce. And then you put it in your dish, we're just doing a little dish tonight. There we go. <laughs> and just pat this down and make a base. We're going to add our mashed potatoes on top. All you do with these mashed potatoes is you spread them over the top. We have the main course of this meal, but it looks kind of plain. So what we're going to do is add a little bit of color. This is paprika. I'm just going to sprinkle a little paprika. Now, if I had fresh parsley, fresh parsley would look, we'd put a couple sprigs of fresh parsley. I don't have any right now. So I'm just going to sprinkle some parsley flakes on here. And it is ready to serve. That's how fast this is. It is a very quick and easy dish.